officially, officially VIP invited to my little girls night in, which I am so excited for. Get your comfies on, get all the snacks for this one. Light some candles, get cozy. Maybe pop a little face mask on, babe. Treat yourself. In today's video, I am so excited. Me and Sophie are having a little girls night in with all the trimmings. And basically, I thought it would be cute to show you how I kind of like prep for a girls night. So I like the house to be super cozy. I love to host. I love to make people happy. Like that is my thing. I love that. So I'm going to go to the shop get all the snacks show you guys like what kind of typical snacks we have on a girls night in um what we're drinking what face masks we're using and yeah i just want you to be a part of mine and sophie's girls night in so as you can probably tell i have just got back from the gym um sorry if i sound a little bit nasally i think i'm developing a cold like, I don't know where this cold has come from. Cold in August, like, how is that even a thing? Um, I just, you know when you feel like you're getting one? The plan for right now is I need to go get in the shower. I just, oh, that's Tilly. Hey, hun. I just feel, ugh, and I know as soon as I have a shower, I will feel on top of the world. I've had loads of questions from you guys about my skin. Like, I am having a good time with my skin at the moment and yeah i just thought i'd show you my little skincare routine so let's head up to the bathroom hello again so as you can probably tell we are now in the bathroom i have literally spent about 10 minutes trying to put my camera somewhere where there's decent light so i've actually had to like set up my ring light and my tripod in the shower so you can actually see me so there's a little backstory the one thing that's changed the game for me is my little friend right here, which is the Foreo Luna 3. This is amazing. I've been using this for the past few months and I use it every single day for like my morning skincare routine, but I also use it straight after the gym. It's so important to cleanse your skin after the gym. I never really used to bother, like I'm not gonna lie, I kind of used to jump in the shower, splash my face, but I never used to actually have a skincare routine after the gym and since I've been doing this, I have found my skin is so much better. Like, I don't know if anyone else kind of suffers with this. When I sweat a lot on my face, I do get breakouts or I get like pimples or my skin just doesn't look its best. All you need to do is use this for one minute after the gym with some foaming cleanser. I'm going to show you how I do it in a moment. And honestly, my skin has never looked better. Like, it's so much brighter. It's so much softer. And I haven't had like any breakouts in forever. Even when it's that time of the month, I still don't get breakouts, which is rare for me. One of my favorite features about the Luna 3 is it's actually controlled through an app. Sorry about my phone, I dropped it down the stairs and it smashed, story of my life. Um, but the app is so easy to set up. You literally just connect these two through Bluetooth. So it's literally as easy as this. You choose your time, you choose your intensity, you hit start, and on comes the Foreo, like it's it's just so clever. I've just popped this under the tap and I'm also gonna apply a little bit of my foaming cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. It is the Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. How many more times do you wanna say foaming cleanser, Gemma? <laughs> From Clinique, but it's so good. It's really good if you have dry, sensitive skin. I find any Clinique products amazing if you have sensitive skin. All I'm gonna do is apply a tiny little bit of this cleanser on this side of the Foreo. What I love most about this is it, it actually almost feels like the Foreo is almost like pulling the dirt out of your pores. And I love that because there's honestly no better feeling than just fresh, clean skin and especially like around your nose. Like I said, it just leaves your skin feeling so beautiful. Like it feels so clear, it feels so clean. And it really has kind of switched my skincare routine up. And I've noticed such a difference since been using it. Another great thing about Foreo is it's actually waterproof. So you can use it in the shower. So if you want to shower and cleanse at the same time, that's really, really good. So as this is a girls night in pamper night video, I thought it was only right to show you another one of my favorite features on the Foreo and that is the other side. So on this side, you can actually select on the app to give yourself like a firming facial massage, which I love this feature. On the app, you can actually choose from a few different facial massages. I'm just applying some serum onto my Foreo. Um, and literally, the app will give you like a step-by-step -step instruction on how to massage your face. One of my favorite massages is actually the Contour Crazy one. 
oh my gosh this is perfect for like a pamper night in i wish sophie had one tonight so we could like do them together literally do this forever it's like the most relaxing thing in the whole entire world so there we have the quickest little skincare routine i'm gonna leave a direct link to foreo in the description box below just in case you guys are interested i would highly recommend like i said i've been using it for months now and I really really love it. I'm gonna jump in the shower now and then when I get out I will moisturize my face. As always my number one is the Clinique Moisture Surge. If you have been with me for a while you all know this is my favorite. I love this so much. I think this is about I think it's about 25 to 30 pounds but this has lasted me since Christmas um, and I can't explain it like it almost is like giving your skin a little drink like it's so moisturizing it's so good for sensitive dry skin like mine it's perfect under makeup like it's just a really 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 lovely moisturizer um and then for kind of like a bit of a cheaper alternative i also love aloe water by l'oreal this is really really nice like i think these are very similar this is about six six to ten pounds i'm not entirely sure i usually get it when it's on offer which is quite often um but yeah this is kind of like a cheaper alternative of this because we all like to save that money so my loves i hope that little skincare routine was helpful for you i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm gonna go freshen up and then we're gonna go to my favorite place on planet earth eminence <laughs> in where even am i i can't even think town that's where i am for god's sake Gemma. basically today is a good day because i'm on level five of the car park level five is where the shops are at so this lazy person right here drives around and around and around until they get a spot on level five because again i'm lazy so it is now one o'clock sophie is coming around about five so the plan is i need to go and collect the essentials for a girls night in all the food and all the wine so that's what i'm gonna go do i'm also gonna have a look around i kind of want to go all out i want to get like new candles i want to get us matching pajamas matching mugs i just feel like i'm gonna go on a bit of a mad shopping spree you know when you're really really in the mood to just go shopping so let's go i'm actually really really excited do you know why this sounds pathetic i feel like i'm about to do my christmas shopping and i don't know why it just it's very cloudy today i'm feeling a little bit wintry i don't know i just i just feel like i feel like i've got that feeling you know the happy feeling at christmas I feel like i've got that that's probably just me being insane but let's go shopping oh my god i'm excited oh my god that was potentially the most successful shopping trip i think i've ever had in my entire life you know when every single thing you pictured in your mind is there that happened today and i'm so excited now i need to get home i need to get the house cozy i need to get everything out i need to get the food ready <sighs> yeah i've got a crack on but when we get home i'm gonna give you a haul of everything i bought there's a lot like i went in i got like new pajamas new candles new face masks I went in i had a little bit of a, a splurge <laughs> so yeah when i get home i'm gonna show you everything and then we can get ready oh my god this is so exciting i actually wish you were all coming around could you imagine could you actually imagine how fun that would be anyway i need to go i'll see you really I'm soon now home got my coffee i'm feeling good after a very successful shopping trip let me just show you the weather right this is perfect girls night in weather i feel like there's nothing quite like a cozy night in with face masks and food and films face masks food and films the three f's love that i'm gonna show you like the non-food items first and then i will put all the food out so i can just quickly show you what i got there right so i feel like let's do primark first so the first thing i got is i got us both some new pajamas now they only had large left so i'm not entirely sure what the fit of these is going to be like but i don't really care with pajamas like i kind of like them being a bit oversized so how cute are these so these were 10 pounds so i got us both a pair of these so we can be mad me and sophie have been talking about these for so long and we are so excited 
to use these. I actually sent her a sneaky picture of these and I was like, look what I found, but she doesn't know which ones I got. It's the bloody Disney sheet masks. Now, I find sheet masks hilarious because they never fit my face, but these are the ones that actually give you like the Disney face. Oh my God. So I got a Little Mermaid and an Ursula. I'm gonna ask Sophie which one she wants to be. I'm kind of hoping she says Little Mermaid because I really want to be Ursula. I feel like Ursula is my spirit character. Whilst I was having a look in Primark, I came across these. So these are called unicorn hooves. And basically like they're a little mask for your feet. I mean, I don't know how Sophie's gonna feel about these because she hates feet, but I thought these would be kind of cute. So apparently they're a transforming intensive foot peel, tired dry skin. I don't have tired dry feet, but I want unicorn hooves. Next, I went into the body shop because I can't resist that place. Like, I literally can't resist. If you guys will already know, but I'm obsessed with these face masks. I have every single one of these body shop face masks. Like, they're my thing. I feel like I collect them. Um, and Sophie's got this one, the tea tree one, and I've always been super jealous of it. So I decided to get it. Tea tree is insane if you are prone to, like, oily skin or break. I've got a tea tree foaming cleanser upstairs. And because I don't have oily skin, it can be quite drying, but on days where, say, my skin's looking a little bit dull or, you know, when you can feel a spot come in, if I put tea tree on that spot, it literally vanishes. So if you are prone to breakouts or... I love how Tilly's just laying on my handbag. I got the anti-imperfection night mask to add to my collection. And then, as it was three for two, I had to get two other things. Does anyone else do that? Like, I only needed this, but I ended up buying two other things because of the offer. So I ended up spending more money. So, I picked up, me and Sophie, this. Love the Himalayan charcoal mask from the body shop. So, I didn't realise they did a clay wash. I love the mask so much that I can't wait to use this. I'll let you guys know in my next, like, weekly vlog how I get on with that. Primark and the body shop. Next, on my travels, I went into New Look and found these. I literally thought these are going to look so cute on my TV unit, like either side of the TV. Um, as you guys know, I've got a bit of a gold theme going on in the living room, so I thought these were just so cute. And they were $5.99 each. Oh dear, that's that like parcel. Two of these wine glasses, which say WTF wine time finally i just thought they were cute i actually don't have any wine glasses that i like i've only got like big gin glasses so i thought it's girls night i'm gonna go all out so i got me and sophie both one of those then i went into yankee candle of course and oh my gosh i have never owned one of these candles i love yankee candle but i didn't realize they sold these um the woodwick candles i've always wanted to try these i hear you guys talk about these in the comments all the time and these are the candles that crackle. So this is like the perfect candle for tonight. So I'm really excited to light this. I love lighting new candles. Anyway, I got this in the scent, amber and incense. And it's like, I know this sounds silly, but it's a really cozy smell. It's kind of vanilla-y. It's a very like warm scent. Like it's just, it's one of those smells you smell and you're like, oh. I feel cozy, you know one of those. Um, but this was basically down from 20 pounds to 11. So I thought, gotta get that. So because I then had to go to a different shopping center because I needed the hummus that I went originally to town for, I ended up going to like another little shopping complex which had another new look. So I thought, ooh, I'm gonna go have a look in there see if they've got any nice mugs. Love a new look mug. Oh my God, how? cute now i kind of thought like i was over sloths i kind of thought they were a thing of the past like kind of like unicorns they were a thing and now they're not and i kind of thought that about sloths until i saw this cup and i was like hell freaking no like i'm obsessed with sloths again how cute so this was five pounds 99 but it was part of the three for two offer um and i got me and sophie one of those and then for my extra little mug how cute is that oh tilly's just opening the bathroom door basically her her litter tray is in there so she opens the door to go to the toilet like a human um but is anyone else weird like this i really am picky if you have like the shape of mugs i really love like a nice round little mug like i can't stand square ones i'm strange I know. i'm now gonna lay out all my food on the worktop over there so i can show you what i got because these are like mine and sophie's typical girls night in snacks i try and have like a really healthy spread as you guys know i love being healthy 
I only really eat unhealthy food when I really, really feel like it. Um, so when I can be healthy, I try to be. Mine and Sophie's like favourite thing to eat on like a cosy night in. So I'm going to show you what I bought. So in three, two, one, cue the food haul. Ta-da! Tonight's banquet. So I usually do like a platter of just nibbles. I'll slice these up, slice cucumber up. Um, we've got little carrot sticks as well. And then I like to have these dips on the side. We've got tzatziki. I picked up this new one today, which is pea and spinach, which I think sounds really, really nice. Um, just for something a little bit different. And then this is mine and Sophie's favourite thing on planet Earth. Oh my gosh. If you like hummus, you will love this. So I've got some pita breads in the cupboard, which I'm going to toast um, and dip them in this. And it's my favourite thing in the whole world right now. And then to go on the side, I've got some olives and some parma ham. And then these are another one of mine and Sophie's favourites, which are the chilli and coriander king prawns. They're so nice and they're reduced. So I just got us a little pack of those each. I'm unsure if we'll eat those tonight, but they'll still be fine for tomorrow if not. So this is our favourite wine. I am really, really, really picky when it comes to white wine. Like I like a really dry white wine. I don't like anything sweet. Over there, I just picked up Sophie a cheese twist. I'm going to do like a mini cheese board, but I didn't want to buy big bits of cheese because I'm not going to eat them and we're only going to use them tonight. So if you ever want to have like a little cheese night but you don't want to spend loads of money on buying loads of different cheeses, just get these little snack ones from M&S. They're so nice and they've got loads of different ones. I only got a few of them but I think there's like three other types as well. So I got a mini brie, um, white stilton with cranberries which is my favourite, red leicester and then Cornish Cove. That is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of this together on a platter, make it look all pretty and then I just got some strawberries for dessert. Then I went over to Tesco's and oh my gosh, found one of the Nuzo Floras, basically me and my mum have this little bet where <laughs> whenever there's a Nuzo Flora out basically one of us tries to find it first and I have won. These are something I actually mentioned in my weekly vlog and I've had loads of messages from you all saying how much you love them and that makes me so happy. So whenever I find something that's healthy but doesn't taste healthy I always tell you a little chocolate pots and they taste like a full-on dessert like they are delicious and they're only a hundred calories per pot um, and everything else is pretty low in them, like the sugars and carbs. They're really nice for a little treat. So, I will usually cut up a load of strawberries and dip them in here. And it's just the most incredible little dessert ever. I also sometimes put these on top of oats. Oh my gosh, they're just so nice. These are dairy-free. I actually gave my friend Tiff one of these the other day. And she said it tasted like a dessert. Like, it almost tastes like a jam donut. They're so nice. So the plan for now is I am going to have like a mini cleaning sesh. I like my house to be really cosy and just clean and nice when anyone comes round, especially if we're having a night in. I'm going to spend the next sort of half an hour just having a little speed tidy and then I'm going to prep the food and then Sophie will be here. So I'm feeling very excited. <laughs> insanely cozy this setup is i don't know why i don't do this on the daily i'm so excited for sophie to see it i've got our little matching cups and wine glasses here this candle is incredible oh my gosh it smells absolutely delightful i'm so happy with it and then this lots of you actually asked me about this this is just on youtube if you type in fireplace there's like an hour long kind of thing and I just stream it to the TV and it's just really nice to have one in the background it's super cozy even though I have got a real fire over there um, but I don't really feel like the heat from it I just want to look at it and then I've also created a little pamper station here oh my god so excited for her to see it and I am just about 
to prep all of our food. I'm gonna make all of this look pretty on these over here. So I think I'm gonna like lay everything out on here and then put the veggies in here. And then I'm probably gonna put the dips in these just because I find it keeps them a lot more fresh because you can put then the rest of them back into the fridge. So, ready, steady, cook. Let's get food prep in. So the food is all ready. I've also got some pita breads to toast, which I'm gonna pop on the sides for the hummus. So the last thing I have to do is go and get ready. Well, not even ready. I need to go get D ready. I need to go get my makeup off. I'm gonna wait for Sophie to get here to put the Dumbo pajamas on because I want her to see the little display first. Isn't the best thing about a girl's night in, you can just literally just be. You can just be comfy. You can just be makeup free. You haven't got to put any kind of effort in. Like no one is gonna judge you. It's just a very nice feeling. I've just been sat at my dining room table editing and I've just seen Sophie's little car go past here. So let's wait for her to knock. Oh, she's gone round that way. Look. She's here. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Nice to you. Welcome to Girls Night. Oh, I'm excited. Are you? Don't go in the living room yet. Okay. <gasps> oh. We've got pit of reds too. Ew. Are you excited? Oh, it's all of our favourites. Oh. I got. Oh. I had to go to two MSs to get this. Oh, is it the Holy Grail? Yes, she knows. Ooh. Sophie, you've been craving that for ages, haven't you? Oh, yeah, take your bag off, get comfy, hun. Oh my God, I'm really excited for you to see in the living room. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. Do you like it? <gasps> I know. Oh, There's still them foot things. Oh my god, that's so cute. I got these because I thought that we loved the, um, I went to- favourite face mask? Well, I wanted to go buy us new face masks, but they didn't have any new ones out. These are the ones with the faces on. Look, you come out like that. Oh, you, I want I would, to be this one. Do you? <gasps> I know! Oh my god! They're full on Dumbo ones! They're so cute! No. They smell really good. It's one of the crackly oh. ones. We've got matching mugs and matching white glasses. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god, I'm excited. Seven hours and 50 <laughs> It hasn't been on for seven hours. Oh, Why? I told everyone earlier it was an hour. Sorry, it's ten hours. Why it is it on seven hours? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but it definitely hasn't been on for seven hours. You've been ultimate chilling, didn't you? <laughs> Just have my, lo my crackling logs on all day. I'm gonna go and take my makeup off and then we're gonna go ultimate chill mode. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yay! So first things first, we've got our Dumbo pajamas on, but because I had to buy larges, <laughs> we've had to tie them up around the back. <laughs> Look. Look how funny it looks. It looks like Dumbo's tail. We're matching. Oh, it's cute. cute. My favorite part is definitely this little thing little here. Wine. wine. Ooh. Crack open the wine, honey. Crack open the wine. Should I get our new glasses? Oh, yeah. Should we pour it in here? Here she goes. She got the wine. Pour that wine. Glug, 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 glug. That noise is so satisfying. I'll give oh us a little God. one. I'll a go little to... one? Yeah. That's bloody huge. Little and often, little and often. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I forgot how much I love that wine. Oh, that is really good. Mmm. Chug it, chug it. <laughs> so nice. So, I'm gonna take a seat over here, pop my wine up here. We're taking a pew. Shall we? I feel like we should do our face masks then. Ma ma <laughs> face masks and then yeah. have food. Yeah, let's do it. Who are you gonna be? Are you gonna be Ursula or Little Mermaid? I think I need to be Ursula. You wanna be Ursula? Are you I mean, sure? Ursula looks pretty Oh my god, bad. I'm so excited for these, like, no one at all. Oh, I need to put my crackling logs back on. For seven hours. Start with the freshly washed face. Done. Start with a <laughs> sip of wine. Done. And then... I think you just put it on like a normal sheet mask. 
I'm so ready to be the Little Mermaid. I'm so ready to be Ursula. They had so many different ones. They had Lion King ones. I really? thought that would be a Oh my god, this is going to be so funny. Oh, it's so sticky. I can show you the world. Oh my god, what if you have another allergic reaction? Not today. <laughs> we tried to film a video once that you guys never actually saw where Sophie had full on allergic reaction to a face mask. Like, it was not it good. It was so bad, wasn't it? Wow! I can't blame him, Peela. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's this bit doing? Sophie, what's that bit? <sighs> <laughs> I'm really confused again. What's going on? Oh. Oh, like this. Oh, <laughs> that is. What's this thing? <laughs> Wait, I'm really confused. Why has yours got a tash? Oh, don't look like Ariel. Oh, no, I think, yeah, I think you've got to put that bit up. Yeah, and then stick that bit down like that. Yeah. I can show you the world. Do you know what? I quite like this. I can imagine that she vapes. <laughs> what does Ursula the Sea Witch say? I can't remember. She's got a titan. <gasps> Two titans. Two titans? No, they're not called titans. So you forgot your eyelashes though. Look, now you have. Now you have eyelashes. Oh, that looks silly. <laughs> what, and this doesn't? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> hey, boys, how do you like me now? I take your application via email. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you got all Texas? I, I take your, I take your application via email. How comfy are these pajamas, though? They are dead comfy. <laughs> it doesn't really look like Ursula. You don't really look like Ariel. I feel like something's wrong there. Is she upside down? No, she can't be. No, she's not upside down. I just was expecting to look a little bit more like Ariel. Do I look like Ursula? No. I think I just, think I just need the, like... the purple hair. Oh. And the fin. Yeah. Flipper. Mm. Well, this is something I never quite envisioned us doing. Drinking wine. <laughs> Dressed as Ariel and Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought like we should do some karaoke. Some karaoke. I just keep looking in like like the top bit and I'm like, how do I look this goddamn good? <laughs> Cause my skin is like the most sensitive thing in the whole world. What if I do a you and feel it? <laughs> and you're like red hot. Your eye's watering. What? Your eye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn to have an allergic reaction? I know why you look a bit wrong. Oh! We just need to pull Oh my god. Why do yours always go to front? Have I got like an obscure face or something? <laughs> they never fit me. What is this bit? Right, I'm getting really annoyed now. No, maybe it's supposed to shut you up. Yeah, probably. Ugh. Maybe it goes on your lip. I just don't really get it. Oh, it's a lip mask as well. Look. Oh, well that makes more sense. Cool. Their teeth! Oh. Hi, I'm Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the teeth? This oh. white bit. Oh, it's all making sense now, and this bit's folded. <gasps> where's my eyelashes? Yeah. <gasps> okay, now I feel like Ariel. <laughs> now you, you need to bust it in by your side and flounder. And flounder. Now I definitely feel like a Disney princess. Oh my god, my eyes are literally streaming. Yeah, I think you might need to take Ariel off. Really? Yeah. Okay, I genuinely feel like I have an allergic through. reaction. Oh my god. Your eye. What? It's okay guys, false alarm. The wind just blew my door open. I thought there was a burglar. What's cooking? Good looking? Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Hey. Hi. Hey bud.
I get really like scared about using face masks that I've never used before just because <laughs> Do you look how much product they give you? Wow. Wow, that's gonna come Push like the boat out there. Wow, that's so stingy. Look, that's how much is in there. I need to take this off. I feel like I'm getting itchy now. That is look, that is literally how much is in that sample. Oh look. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. So our plan right now is we're probably just gonna have a bit of a catch up because I feel like I haven't seen you in ages even though it was like two days ago. A lot can happen in two days. So we're gonna have a little catch up and then we will see you really, really soon. So Sophie doesn't remember this song. How do you not remember this? She knows it now because I've played it about five times on repeat. So let me turn down the music for YouTube. Do with copyright. Top tip for Pamper Nights. Don't drink wine before food. That was a rookie ever. I just want to get my hooves on, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, what? It was like a nappy. Wait, <laughs> what? No, I'm sorry. What? Do you need a PhD to get your hooves on? For anyone buying the hooves, you pull them apart in half and then you put your foot in like this. Oh, it's so soggy. <laughs> And then you, I think, I think this bit is like the ankle strap. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. They're very slimy. You have to leave them on. It says for like leave them on for like a long old time. Wait, I need to go for a wee. Wait for a minimum of 60 to a maximum of 90. So what? We have to leave our hooves on for an hour. I need the toilet though. Yeah, but what? You can oh, not through your foot. No, but I'm going to, like, let me try and walk in them. Oh my god, they're so slippery. Oh, so they're so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most dangerous, treacherous walk. <laughs> Screw Mount Everest, try and walk to the kitchen. <laughs> try and walk to the kitchen in unicorn hooves. <laughs> if anyone comes to the door, can you imagine? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I just trotting along? <laughs> So it's now quarter to seven. We are absolutely starving. We need to put the pitters in as well. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Sophie loves a pitter. <laughs> Look at the back of those pajama bottoms. <laughs> wow. Look at that stance. Wow. Um, How excited are you? It's food time. Rock. Here's your knife. Thank We've you. just toasted our pitters. Right, I need all of you to try this right now. M&S Pesto Hummus Swirl, I think it's mm -hmm. called, with whole wheat. Pitta. Pitta, toasted. Are you going in with a knife? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be a savage. Cause I like to spread it. Mm. Mm. I see where you spread it, you get more. Mm. <laughs> Start to be. Can I get some comfort, please? I so, as you can see, we are in bed. Where it's only belong. like 9 pm, <laughs> isn't it? We're so tired, it's actually a bit silly. So, we spent the evening eating, chatting, drinking wine, and now we have come to a halt. To the pit. The pit, the pit. <laughs> to the pit. So we're having a little sleepover club tonight. We're probably just gonna get an early night and go to bed now. Eyes are like really heavy. So am I. Come back. Pretty sure I've got a bit of aerial in my eyes still or something. <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed joining us for our little night in. Oh, it's been such a nice day and evening. I've loved it. Thank you so much. You're so it's welcome. Been so nice. It's been so nice. Hi. Like I can't even. I feel like I can't speak. I feel like all my words are slurred. <laughs> It could be the vino. It could be, yeah. Could be the vino. <laughs> no, no, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.